Halloween is upon us, so time to talk about bats. With their nocturnal habits and rather eerie reputation, they tend to fly under the radar, which can mean their vital role in ecosystems often goes overlooked. We're now joined by Corey Lawson, the Director of Bat Conservation at Wildlife Conservation Society Canada, to talk about the challenges these misunderstood mammals face, especially in BC. Corey, what does BC's bat popula population look like now? Uh, well, um, we still have a, a basically a, the most diverse um, community of bats that are found in Canada, so that's good news. Um, but our bats are increasingly facing um, a lot of threats and especially the cumulative threats over time are um, already having impacts on, on bats and bats in, in general in North America are, are just not doing well, unfortunately. Are they considered or, 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 or different kinds of bats considered endangered in BC? Yeah, I mean, if we, if we look at um, our 15 species, out of those, 11 of them are actually already listed as species at risk provincially and or federally or just in the process of being listed right now, actually. And what are their biggest threats? Oh, there's a lot of them, but I, I would say in British Columbia, one of our biggest threats that's been um, a problem for bats for a long time uh, is habitat loss. Um, over 70% of, of the bat species that we have in this province use forests uh, for raising their young. And not every tree will do. I mean, you can you can look out over sea of green and think, oh, there must be lots of habitat there for bats. But in fact, there may not be. In fact, there's probably a good chance there isn't because most of our species really need the old growth type trees. The old trees are the ones that have the cavities, the crevices, the loose bark for these bats to get in, um, in, in their groups that they need to raise their young and find the right temperatures and conditions. And they need to be switching around a lot, um, kind of like the Goldilocks approach. Mm. Every day they need a different temperature often and, and they're switching around. So they, they need a, a lot of very specific things. And unfortunately, our forests uh, don't necessarily offer those in most places now. How do bats contribute to the balance of our ecosystems and, and economy? Well, we are just finding out more and more. I mean, we've always known that they've been important for their natural pest control. Um, they, they're basically, they're out there eating insects constantly. Uh, throughout the summer, they can eat uh, even up to their body weight and insects. They are amazing voracious eaters. And in doing so, um, they're really important ecologically. We know they're important uh, for the ecosystem balance. But, and we've already known too that, that they're very economically important. Um, many estimates uh, put them in the billions, like $30 billion worth of pest control services just in the U.S. alone for agriculture, for example. Um, we know they're important to forestry here um, as well. They are, you know, they're consuming uh, forced um, pests. And so this this natural pest control that we really do need for both our economy and our ecosystem and for human health. Um, and, and it's really just been recently that we've been finally able to to quantify that. And we've known it for a long time here in the bat world. But a, a new paper came out last um, month, actually, uh, and it was a study done uh, published in Science that shows that in places in the eastern US where white nose syndrome, which is a disease that is killing our, our bats while they hibernate in winter, that, um, that disease has caused such die-offs that we now see that bats uh, aren't there to fill that natural pest control service. And so we are, we're, the, um, the documentation has actually shown that over 30% pesticide increase has happened in these areas. Um, and unfortunately, that has resulted in a significant increase in human uh, infant mortality rates, actually. Yeah. Corey Lawson, the Director of Bat Conservation at Wildlife Conservation Society Canada, we appreciate your time and your expertise. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for your interest.